Hello everyone, Max here with A1 Website Pro and today I'm going to show you how to uh, synchronize your Google Drive on your Linux Mint operating system. So there's a lot of, uh, we, we know that Windows and Macintosh, they have native applications to synchronize your uh, desktop with your Google Drive. Well now Linux Mint uh, with, uh, I believe from Linux Mint 18 on, has the ability to. Now if you have an earlier installation of Linux Mint, if you go to the link in the description of this video, I have a series of commands that you can install this uh, GNOME for your particular Linux Mint distro. It also works on Ubuntu. Okay, so let's talk about what synchronization is. Okay, uh, just for those of that, that don't understand what's going on. If we get into a folder here, and we go, get, go into our Documents folder, and we have a document here that we have created, what we would like is for this document to be updated across all of our computers. Let's say you have a work computer, a home computer, maybe a laptop computer you travel around with, maybe a tablet, and your smartphone. Well, you want that document to be updated on all those particular devices. And so that's what synchronization with Google Drive will do for you. Uh, so you're not overwriting the bat, you know, overwriting your changes over and over again. So let me show you how to do this. If we go down here to Linux Mint, we want to type in online accounts, okay? So bring up the online accounts and let that load up. And you notice we have a bunch of them. We have them for Nextcloud, Microsoft, Flickr, so on and so forth. But we're going to use Google and let that load up. And what we want to do is type the, uh, your email address. Full uh, Gmail address. So we'll use faithmccullough11 at gmail.com. Click Next. And then we'll go ahead and put in the password. Like so. Click Next. Let that load up. And here we have to give uh, GNOME uh, access to our Google account. And so we'll scroll clear down to the bottom. Notice the, the different things that it'll do. It could see your Google Drive, your, your email, so on and so forth, and even your calendar. But we're just going to go ahead and allow all of that. So we trust the GNOME. And here's, we can enable it for mail, calendar, contacts, documents, files, and printers. We just want all of these turned on, okay? And don't click remove account, just click this little uh, X right here, okay? And now we have uh, the Google uh, account, faithmccullough11 at Gmail. And we'll just go ahead and click this X. And I'm going to come up here, you'll, you'll see a, a particular uh, folder appear here. It's going to be faithmccullough11 for the drive. I'm just going to double click the home folder. So we could get, get there a little bit click, quicker. If I click on this Faith McCullough 11 under network, we could see here now I am in her Google account. Okay. So here I can access her music or pictures and it's all on this uh, particular drive. If we bring up our uh, Firefox, let me go ahead and bring up a, a tab on Firefox. And I'll just go to the uh, Google Drive this way. Because I'm lo should be logged in drive.google.com should be able to go directly into that drive, and it should match the folder that we have on our uh, desktop. So go ahead, and we'll go ahead and let that load up. We can see here this sspix.zip and voice zero zero one two. 3pgp. Uh, Let's see if those are on there. So we'll go to our folders, our Google Drive folder. I can here. There we go. And here's the sspix.zip and voice uh, 00012 3gp. Okay. And no, notice this is labeled our Google Drive folder. Now I can go ahead and add more accounts here if I if I want to. But here you have a uh, particular application that will just synchronize. And, and to show you that it will synchronize, let me just go ahead 
and we will uh, let's create a document uh, let's see here I'm gonna create a new document just a notepad so let's just go to a notepad text editor type of a thing go ahead and bring this up here and here's our notepad and we'll just say this is a test for uh, shoot let's see here this is a test for Google Drive with Linux Mint okay and I'm gonna go file save as and we're going to go to our, our Google Drive folder. And we're just going to save it right here. And we'll just put this as our uh, test document. And UTF-8 encoded. And we'll click Save. Okay, now notice it's saving. Let's go ahead and look at our online Google Drive. And look at here. We have Test. And if we double click on this and open it up on our online Google Drive, Notice it says this is a test for a Google Drive with Linux Mint. Okay. And uh, we could actually open with Google Docs in this. And let me go ahead and we'll do a little bit of editing online, doing the online. Now you have to be online in order to have this work for you. If you're not connected uh, to your internet, we'll fix this uh, Google here just to make sure it's uh, capitalization. Google. And just to make sure, we'll go, this is test. All right. Now, we do know that what Google will do is it automatically saves them. So you don't really have to go to file and click save or hit control S on your keyboard. So we'll just X out of here. And we'll X out of here. And we'll see uh, that. Now, notice we have a test here. And there's another test. So what, what has happened? Well, what, what happened is this particular one, if you notice, uh, it was created 3, 4 to 5 with GNOME, but it was modified. What's it going to say on our, on our desktop? Well, let's close it out, and let's go ahead and open it up again. Notice it still has the old. Uh, this is a test for uh, Google Drive with Linux because... Google Drive created a new file. So we have our original test. Okay, let's see. Let me show you here. We have the original test. This one's the original created with GNOME. This one has the one with the, the big O on Google. But no, notice this one right here, test. It was created by Google Docs. All right. So it, it created an additional file because... Google did not have the ability to edit this particular file. It didn't have the uh, um, the software because we, we use Google uh, Docs in order to create this new one. Now, so why did that happen? It's because Google can't edit this particular document here. It can only open it up so you can read it. So whenever you open this document uh, test up, it's going to have that original, the one that you, the, the original one that you made with GNOME. Here, let me double click it and show you. You still see, I still have the, uh, the, the, the unusual capitalization on Google, and we don't have our next line. So I hope this helps you understand that the, the synchronization, if you have another computer that can open this up on the desktop, just like we have it here, then you'll be able to. Uh, edit this particular file as long as you have that software now let me go ahead and click on home and then we'll go back to faith mccullough and you see now we have two tests we have this test and then we have this test okay so let's go ahead and open up the one test you can see here this is the one with the unusual capitalization now let's open up this other test and see what happens notice how it br opens up the browser and brings me to the Google Drive document. Okay, that's because this 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 is the link now for for this uh, 
this new one because I went went in to edit. So I, I if you don't want Google Drive to um, do that to create a new file, then you never want to use Google Drive to you know open a file that it's not uh, licensed to do. Okay, you would actually be opening up this particular one in another computer or um, like you could edit it with another computer online uh, or a tablet but whenever you convert it to a Google Drive document then it just becomes a Google Drive document I hope you understand that if you need any clarifications uh, let me know um, uh, in the comments below if you appreciated the video please like share subscribe if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video tutorial.